Hey, what up, YouTube? Welcome back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, jump right into it. Okay, so we did some serious farming. I think I was up to like 2 in the morning. I managed to get an Exuna and a bunch of other nice stuff from Dread Legion, so yeah. We're gonna open up. I was just checking out some enchanting packs. And we're gonna see what happens. Because I tested them out prior to the video. And I got some enchantments and some enchanting stones. So it wasn't good pulls, but I'm actually curious here about them. Epic. Rare. Enchantment packs. Or refinement packs. But I actually do want to check something beforehand, and that is was it Bilethorn? Or uh what was the other one? Bile. Epic. Bilethorn, 39k. Rare. Find it. Enchantment. Or is it Briar Twine? Briar. So it's Briar Twine that's worth more. No, Briar Twine isn't worth more. Yeah, it's definitely Briar. It's definitely the other one that I was opening before. Enchantment. Hold on. VIP benefits. I'm going to change it up a bit. Okay, I have 475 there. 475. Zero. Then another ten thousand. Then we'll do another two fifty thousand guys. And we're gonna see what basically happens if we open up a bunch of these. Now what is this called again? Forgotten enchantment pack. Eh, hey, forgotten enchantment, forgotten gods. Not bad. <laughs> Seems befitting. Okay, so let me see here. We have a lot of them, actually. You know what? I'm feeling extra risky. I'm feeling extra risky. I'm going to regret this in the long run. I'll tell you guys this right now. Okay, so we're going to keep opening these up. <clears throat> we're opening up 2 million worth of these. Just because of fact, I want to see what exactly I get from it. Hmm. I will buy out the whole market, but it's a little too much for my taste. Let me see how many we got, and give or take on what exactly we're doing here. This will be an RNG test for the uh, enchantment. I'm pretty sure that was discontinued. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but my guild member said one of them was discontinued. Well, I got a better idea how to check. If we messed up, we messed up. All good. I'm planning to refine them, or at least give it a shot. And see what happens. Well, let me check it like this. Briar Bilethorn or um, the Twine one. Okay, it still has Bilethorn. Bark Shield. Oh, 
so it was the other one. B I L E Legendary. Okay. Epic. Let me check Briar. Legendary. Dang, I messed up. But oh well, guys, win some, lose some. Okay, I want to break the 100k mark. So you know what? Let's do it. Another. Like, I want to break the 100, not 100k, sorry. The um, 100 pack mark. Because this will really cover the drop ratio. VIP benefits. Mailbox. I know that I'm not going to make a uh, basically a profit from this, but this will cover the RNG for the Fire Burst and the Bilethor Enchantment to see if these actually give a lot more of those. And ooh, when I need a drink. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, this will be RNG to cover. <coughs> How many of these actually drop from this? So, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe. And without any further ado, guys, here we go. I could also use some enchantments for my alts. Oh, Bilethorn right there. Okay. Fireburst enchantment, okay. Mark opponents rank six, nice. Mark opponents rank six, nice. I need those. Like, I actually do need those for refining some enchantments of mine. So, let's see here. Brilliant diamond. How about another enchantment or something like that game? There you go. Asking you shall receive. How about just one more? If not all good, I mean, we got like three enchantments so far, so that's pretty good. I'll probably go into depth later on on mount packs and their profitability and how to do it. I'm going to tinker around with it in a few videos to see if there's a way to actually make a better profit than what I'm doing without having to do all the like excess farming because I know a lot of people don't have that kind of time to actually do that sometimes. Some people play the game co-casual, whatnot, nothing wrong with that, and I want to basically see if there's a way to help them make profit without basically having to invest like 1.25 million in just... Oh, another Bilethorn. Nice. We got in the last few. Nice. Okay. So let me see here. We got two Bilethorn, rank 8. We got two Fireburst, rank 8. We got some Brilliant Diamonds, things like that. And I'm probably going to figure out the Mount Packs. But yeah, basically I renewed my VIP, guys. Because basically this is gone. And... Uh, this is renewed so that's good and basically let me see here convert some of these I can sell these enchantments for a bit and use the other ones to help level up my alts like the Azure enchantment maybe I can refine some of these and use the gold bonus to get more gold because I've been running into people that once again are selling campaigns and mounts for gold but let's check the um okay so clearly we only have enough for 10 and if we check the Balthorn rank 9 so we know the drop rate's good that's at least a plus side 
What's rank 9 go for? I'm actually curious. Rank 9 is actually going for a decent price. Rank 10. So what's so... Oh, it's a weapon enchantment. I was thinking there's an armor enchantment or something. <clears throat> Rank 12, rank 13. But yeah, guys, that about sums it up. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay awesome, guys. And until next time. Oh, wait, hold on. Beforehand. I am seeming to be doing this lately. Fire. Epic. Fire burst enchantment. Oh, only worth 12k. I should have checked it ahead of time, but all good. What's rank 9 go for out of curiosity? <clears throat> rank 9 goes for... Eh, not bad. But as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay awesome, guys. And until next time, see ya!